Hello everyone, this is Robity Bobbity, and today I am going to make a tutorial video on how to modify armor for Skyrim. More specifically, how to modify armor to fit certain body types in Skyrim. Now, the body type I'm going to be working with in this video is Cherry Hodling's body type, but the process I'm going to use can be essentially used for any body type, which I have used it for other body types. But Cherry Hotlings is the one I'm going to use for this video. Now, even if you are completely new to this, I will do my best to go through it piece by piece and even try to intentionally run into problems. So that way, if you um, decide to try to do this yourself, hopefully I will go over enough of the programs and run into enough problems to get you, help you get to the point where even if you run into problems yourself, this video um, can help you get through them. And I didn't have much help myself, just a few little tutorial threads which um, didn't explain all the possible situations you might run into. And I might not run into all the situations here on this video, but I'm definitely going to cover a lot. And I've gotten to the point after many months of being confused and lost and hitting my head against my monitor gotten to the point where I can modify armor without having any issues and hopefully you'll get to that point too if you want to if you decide to pick up modding yourself so I'll go ahead and get started here the two programs you're going to need or at least the ones I use are 3ds max and nifscope and even though I do have blender on my desktop I don't use it I tried using blender didn't really work for me I like 3ds max more and if you get 3ds Max, you're going to also need to download a plugin that enables you to uh, import and export NIF files. That's very important. So, those are the programs you're going to need. And now the first step in our process is going to be to open up 3ds Max. But, since I'm working with Cherry Hodling's body, she was gracious enough to uh, upload the bone pose onto her, onto her uh, mod site on the Nexus. So I have that right here and I'm just going to double click that and it's going to open up 3ds Max for me and her bone pose will be already loaded. And I use version 2010 but you don't necessarily need to use 2010. Anything later would work I'm sure. Anything earlier I can't guarantee. Alright, so now we are here in 3ds Max and I have the bone pose structure in the middle here. Um, just a couple helpful hints. Um, hold down mouse 3 to, to uh, move in one dimension vertically and if you hold Alt while holding mouse 3 you can kind of pivot around and those are the main controls you're going to be using as far as the camera. And I know there are a lot of buttons here and I decided that instead of going through them one by one and explaining them, I'll just explain them to you as I need to use them. So, let's see how much time I have going on right now. Uh, Alright. So, I'll go ahead and start the beginning of this process and then I'll just create a new video for the second step. So, first thing you're going to do is import the base body. So I'm going to click up here, scroll down to import, and I'm going to scroll down to where I have uh, the body type saved. And I'm going to download, I'm going to uh, load, import, the female zero body. And when you import this menu will come up. Um, I couldn't tell you what all these mean exactly. I am not by any means a a 3ds max master or even been doing 3d modeling myself for a long time but i at least know how to do this process and that's what's important so just make sure you have all these things checked off and then hit import and there we are we have uh, the lowest weight body type there on our screen right on the bone pose all right and i'm going to go ahead and stop this video there that was basically just the introduction, and for the next part of my video, or the next video I make, 
I'm going to show you how to set up the morpher. Where'd it go? Okay. Seriously? You're gonna do this now? Okay. 